Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Now guys, before I begin, I it's so important that I tell you this in this video, I'm definitely not giving you medical advice, I'm definitely not making any medical claims. And without further ado, today's video is how to make hydrogen for free. Now, you know, we're talking about different types of hydrogen today because today I'm going to talk about oxyhydrogen, otherwise known as Brown's gas or HHO. A lot of people like to call it hydrogen. It kind of really isn't the kind that's used medically because there's literally zero science behind it. Um, all the data doesn't show that it's actually very good for you and I've seen some pretty horrific stuff. However, I am going to show you how to make it for free or at least extremely cheap. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And this is just because of a lot of people who say they can't afford hydrogen. But remember, this is not what I personally recommend and I'll tell you why. But I will at least show you guys because a lot of people do this already and there's numerous reasons why I wouldn't. But you can see right here these type of devices and there's a, there's a ton of them, by the way, we can keep scrolling. But... These are the ones, I've seen them for actually as low as I think about 50 bucks. These are actually welding devices. They call it oxyhydrogen. And a lot of people will actually take these. And all you really do is you can add some water bottles on the side. Because think about it, guys. You do not want to inhale these type of hydrogen gas or really oxyhydrogen. It's not really molecular hydrogen, so just so that's clear. Um, but you can make it super cheap. I mean, 75 bucks or less, you could do it. But remember... These, in my personal opinion, spew out toxic gases because it uses chemicals. It uses lye or sodium hydroxide. And I can actually prove that and I'll show you here in a second. But if you want to do it cheap, this is an option. Now, there are companies that actually do this. Um, here is basically what it looks like. And a lot of people don't know that there's companies that actually do this. Unfortunately, they take these type of devices and then they go and sell them for like, I don't know, $2,500 or a very expensive amount. In fact, I could show you numerous examples. Here's one. So you can see here that this is actually the same device. It just looks like they put a sticker on here or whatever. They didn't even bother painting it. Some companies actually paint it. In fact, here you can actually see the water bottles I was talking about. So they attach these bottles. Now, this is the silly part about the bottles. Now, the reason they attach the bottles is because they believe that they're filtering out the toxic gases while the hydrogen goes through. The biggest issue with that is when you're bubbling hydrogen through here, you're literally losing the hydrogen. It's getting bubbled into the water along with the lye or sodium hydroxide, which is not something you definitely want to inhale. And they think that they're filtering it. However, you'd be losing hydrogen on top of it. And in my personal opinion, from all the research I've done, it definitely does not filter all of it. In fact, it's not even close. But again, you could do it if you wanted to. I know a lot of people have purchased these, but they always end up spending thousands of dollars and they don't realize you could do it for about as low as $70. Um, there's numerous other examples. Some here's another one. This one they are selling for I think 2,500. And I see a tower on here and the water bubblers. And again, they're doing all this shenanigans because what they're trying to do is filter out, in my personal opinion, the toxic gases that these produce. And you know, people know that they think it's safe, but they don't really understand how it works. Now, the important part about understanding how it works is this: you these type of devices. I don't think people understand the difference between medical grade hydrogen and non-medical grade hydrogen. A really good example is actually oxygen. Like if you go to a hospital, yes, they have medical grade oxygen in hospitals. But if you go somewhere where they do welding, they also have oxygen tanks, but it's not medical grade, which means it's not pure. In my personal opinions, you will never make really high quality hydrogen or even Brown's gas from these devices because they don't make medical grade hydrogen or oxygen, especially if you're making medical grade, you wouldn't have to be filtering out all the toxic gases in my opinion either. But regardless, I thought this was important to share with you guys. I will say that like if you really talk to an actual medical professional that specializes in hydrogen in Japan, one of the top guys over there, um, Dr. Adachi, he would he literally would laugh at this. Um, he's really picky about purity. And you know why purity is so important? Because that is what medical grade hydrogen would be. And that's why the only thing that he would recommend, and I guess I could pull up the one that he recommends, which is also the same one that I personally use and recommend, which is the holy hydrogen machine, the, the best hydrogen machine in the world. It's Japanese. It's not Chinese. All these other devices that you're seeing, by the way, these are all Chinese. They're all made in China. They use cheap metal, which is stainless steel. They use a chemical, which is lye. These do not use cheap metals like stainless steel. And they definitely don't use lye because this is the best there is. Now, are you going to pay for the best? Yeah, I mean, if you want to get it, it's going to cost you more than a 70 something dollar welding device. Though, remember, some people actually sell them for $2,500. Um, like this company also. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people are unaware and they don't realize that they're paying thousands of dollars for what they could have had for 70 something dollars. Now, again, if you wanted to do something like this, that's up to you. Um, 
in my own personal opinion, I would never use something like this. I have in the past, unfortunately, because I was always trying to learn new things and thinking that it might be better. Everybody kept saying Brown's gas was better, so I tried it. It actually made me sick. And since then, and since I started my channel, I've had numerous people contact me who unfortunately have had very bad experiences I've seen from accelerating of cancers to harming people's lungs, on and on it goes. Why? Well, because when I did the research, I discovered that these things should not be used on humans because they're not made for human. They're not made for humans. That's not what they're designed to do. They're not making medical grade hydrogen. But if somebody out there really wants to do this, um, this is what you can do. I guess you go to Alibaba and whatnot. Though again, I will tell you, it is something that I would absolutely not do, um, in my personal opinion, especially if you want to get proper results. The water that these things make, if you wanted to drink the water, I'm absolutely horrific. I've done it. It tastes horrible. I've seen people actually have, uh, I've had emails of people who've had kidney failure from doing this. And anyway, I just thought people should know that if they really want to do hydrogen, they want to do it cheap, they could do this if they really, really wanted to. Are as far as Brown's gas, but it's not something that I would at all ever do nor recommend. But I hope that you guys at least found it interesting that you can make hydrogen cheap. It won't be medical grade hydrogen, but you can make it cheap. Or this is not really, again, molecular hydrogen. This is Brown's gas. Don't get them confused because they're not at all the same. There literally is no research showing that Brown's gas is superior. In fact, the research that I have found shows that it's definitely not superior. In fact, the Japanese do know about it. And I have learned that they said that they don't really see any medical efficacy come from it. And if there was, it would be extremely minor. But is it worth the risk of these chemicals? In my personal opinion, not even close. Definitely not. Uh, especially when this stuff goes straight to the brain, especially when you're inhaling it. You do not want to be getting lye or sodium hydroxide, even traces amount of it in your brain. I know some people think it's safe because people make things like soap with it. It's very different than when you ionize it, turn it into a gas and inhaling it. You're not inhaling soap. So it's very, very different, guys. Thought you should know. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, comment below. Let me know that you found the video helpful. Let me know that you found it interesting. You can comment below if you've ever tried Brown's Gas and your experiences with it. And also, don't forget to support the channel by giving a thumbs up. That always helps out. It helps support the channel, the algorithm. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe as it's free. And I'm always bringing you guys the latest and greatest. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.